how do we read the Bible? How do we interpret it? How do we apply it to our lives? Let me read you what John Wesley wrote about that. He wrote, I want to know one thing, the way to heaven, how to land safe on that happy shore. God has consented to teach the way. And for this very end, he came down from heaven. He hath written it down in a book. Oh, give me that book. Let me be homo unius libri, a man of one book. Now, of course, Wesley read many books, but his point is that the Bible is our guide to salvation. That is why we read it. We don't read it primarily to learn about history or geography or science. We learn to read about the way of salvation. But we are to develop the daily habit of reading it as in the presence of God. Here's how Wesley continues. He writes, Here then I am, far from the busy ways of men. I sit down alone. Only God is here. In his presence I open, I read his book. For this end, to find the way to heaven. So Wesleyans have a habit of daily, prayerful Bible reading. Because through that, God shapes our thinking. And that's how he guides us. But what if we do not understand what we read? Wesley goes on to deal with that. And here is what he wrote. Is there a doubt concerning the meaning of what I read? Does anything appear dark and intricate? I lift up my heart to the Father of lights. Lord, is it not thy word? Thou hast said, if any be willing to do thy will, he shall know. I am willing to do. Let me know thy will. Wesley goes on to write about comparing scripture with scripture, meditating upon it, consulting those experienced in the things of God. And what I thus learn, he wrote, that I teach. Some decades ago, a Wesleyan scholar suggested that the way Wesleyans read scripture to interpret it and arrive at our doctrine and our ethics is through what he called the Wesleyan quadrilateral. You must have heard of it. Scripture tradition, reason, and experience. Now that has been criticized and there has been debate about it. In the first place, it is not peculiarly Wesleyan. Any of the major evangelical traditions of the Reformation, Lutheran, Reformed, Anglican, would take the same approach. And it is not really a quadrilateral if that is taken to mean four equal factors. No. The late Timothy Smith, Nazarene elder who was professor of history at John Hopkins, suggested a better figure, a three-legged stool. The seat of the stool is our doctrine and ethics. That is where we sit. But that rests upon the three legs of tradition, reason, and experience. And they stand upon the solid floor of scripture. Now, that's a good figure. That is to say that all our doctrine and all our ethics come from Holy Scripture alone. Look, for example, at the 16 articles of faith in our Nazarene manual. Not one of them is based on tradition alone, reason alone, or, or, or experience alone, they are all based on scripture. But tradition, reason, experience, the three legs of the stool are the ways in which we interpret scripture. Tradition refers to the historic creeds of the church, the confessions of the Reformation, the standard sermons of Wesley, our articles of faith, and so on. 
reason refers to the fact that in every generation we have to wrestle with what scripture says in order to apply it, in order to contextualize it in our constantly changing culture, indeed today in our multicultural world. Experience refers to the fact that while this is an intellectual academic task, it is not only an intellectual academic task. It is only as we together, the church, led by the Spirit, experience that knowledge of the triune God for ourselves, corporately and personally, that we can interpret God's word in Scripture for today. How do Wesleyans read the Bible? We read it regularly. We read it prayerfully, earnestly, seriously, trusting in the Spirit's guidance, seeking to relate all of life to the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and trusting the Father's loving purpose to save us from everything that ruins our lives and to bring us at last to his eternal kingdom.